Hello, and welcome to the Early College Virtual Orientation. If you're watching this video, it's likely because you're signed up to take dual enrollment classes through the Early College at Chattanooga State Community College. Congratulations, you're taking a great step to get a jump start on your future. I would start by welcoming you and introducing uh, our staff. Uh, we have our director, that's me, Jen Tedder. Courtney Warner and Kelsey West are outreach specialists that go out to the high schools. And we have Tony Craw, who is our technical clerk. Our email address for our main office is earlycollege at chattanoogastate.edu. Taking dual enrollment classes at Chattanooga State is a great opportunity. Most classes transfer seamlessly to Tennessee four-year universities. I recommend all students to check out the following website, tntransferpathway.org. This website will show you what classes that you will need to take in order to uh, meet requirements for transferring to a four-year university. As a dual enrollment student, you also have access to all of our Chat State campus resources and services. You'll learn from highly qualified faculty and have the flexibility to take classes during the regular school day at your high school, online, or even come to Chat State's campus. We are looking forward to you have being here this semester. We have several course delivery methods. Many of you may be taking courses online. These courses are online anytime. That means that you do not have to log in at a certain time to watch a Zoom meeting or come to campus during a certain time. You'll still have due dates and you'll still be able to interact with your professor, but it won't be on a scheduled class meeting. Virtual classes meet online at a scheduled time. This is through Zoom or another virtual platform. Our most popular and most populated course delivery method is in-person. This is in-person on a schedule. We also have several course schedules. Some classes meet seven weeks for the first part of term. Some classes meet seven weeks for the last part of term. Most of our classes on high school sites are 15 weeks, which are full term. Be sure to check your course registration to see when your class starts and ends. The next thing I want to share with you is a tutorial on eLearn. eLearn is the platform that all of your classes will be housed. In order to find eLearn, the easiest way is to log into TigerWeb. When you go to our main website, click on the Tiger paw print in the top right hand corner. Click Forgot Password Reset if this is the first time you've logged in. You'll create a password. Once your password is created, click Log In using your campus email. Your chat fed email is your Tiger ID at my.chattanoogastate.edu. If you don't know your Tiger ID, you can also look that up here as well, clicking on the Tiger ID A Number Lookup tool. Once you are in the next screen, this is where you'll log in with using your Chat State email and use the password that you just created. This will log you into TigerWeb. The screen looks like this. There's a couple of important things to take note of on this screen. The bursar's office link is here. If you have any fees to pay because maybe your dual enrollment grant doesn't cover the entire cost of tuition or you owe for books, then you'll click on this link to pay your bill. There's also an email icon. This is your chat state email. This is where you'll find important announcements about campus activities or due dates. Lastly, click on the eLearn button to find your courses. Once you're in eLearn, there's lots of important things to take note of. The bell is the alert icon. If you have any alerts that are important for you to take a look at, you'll need to click on that bell. There's a message icon where teachers can message you directly, and there's also an email icon. The email icon is where you'll want to email your professors. Most professors prefer that you email them through eLearn rather than through their campus email. This is the quickest way to get an answer from a faculty member. There will also be news items and a link for resources. This is where you can find assistance on how to use eLearn. When you're ready to find your course, click on the square grid for a list of your registered courses. Keep in mind that courses don't show up until classes begin or a couple days beforehand. 
Once you're inside your registered course, be sure to take note of the course content. This is the most important tab. This is where your readings will be. Your due dates will be here. Anything that you need to be successful in the class will be in the course content. Please take note of due dates and write them down in your calendar. Most college instructors do not accept late work. It's important to turn things in on time and communicate with your faculty member if there's an emergency. If this is a virtual course, there'll be a link here under the news section with the virtual course link. Could be Zoom or Teams or some other online platform. In the, acti in the activities tab, this is where the grades will be. If you need to reply to a discussion post or turn something in, that will also be under this tab. Please keep in mind that most faculty will not have you turn things in on paper or through email. You'll save your work and put it in the Dropbox, which is under the Activities tab. There's also a tab for Tools, and that is another place where you can locate email and chat. One of the most important things about being successful into college is reaching out for help as soon as you need it. Chat State has many opportunities to help you be successful. If you need help with a paper, we have the Writing Center. Math Tutoring is in the Math Center. We also have support in the library as well. These are just a few of the options for tutoring for students. If you check out our student handbook, chattanoogastate.edu slash student dash handbook, you'll find a full list of resources. Lastly, I want to mention that if you're a student who has an IEP or a 504 plan in high school, you'll want to register with the Center for Access and Disability Services. Your IEP and 504 plan do not automatically transfer to your college classes. That's something that you'll need to re register with separately with our Center for Access and Disability Services, which is here. Many of your classes will have proctored testing. If you're taking an online class, your faculty will allow you to use Honor Lock, which is a system that you can use on a computer. Honor Lock doesn't work great on Chromebooks, so it's better to use it on an actual desktop. If you're taking a class at a high school site, you also have proctors at your high school site that can proctor your test online. Lastly, you could come to Chattanooga State to take the test in person. We hope that you all have a very successful semester. Please reach out to us if you have any questions or concerns. Our email address is earlycollege at chattanoogastate.edu. You can also check out our virtual office, library.chattanoogastate.edu slash ecstudent. We have a live chat feature on our virtual office and step-by-step -step directions for most of the things that you need to do as an early college student. Thanks so much and have a wonderful semester.